Hello and welcome to yet another At Home with Graham Graham Beck, number 16. Well, time's flying by, isn't it? Time is really flying by, you know, sort of really, which is great, which is great. That's what we all want. Uh, and it's not long before the weather's going to really improve and we're going to be out there in the bright sunshine, you know, uh, just enjoying ourselves. That'd be lovely. That'd be lovely. Well, well, what have we got planned for you today? Well, we've got plenty of things planned for you today. We've got yes, uh, four songs. And look at that. One, two, three, four. I've been practicing. We've got four songs for you today. Um, are you out there? I think you are, aren't you? Yes, good. There's a few of you out there. I can see that. Lovely. Nice to see you all. Uh, in, in theory, I mean, obviously, I can't really see you. But if I could, it's nice to see you. Graham Graham Beck is uh, um, all over the house yet again in different parts. And... Um, you know, plenty of surprises, we hope. Well, we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? So without further ado, uh, we'll best, best just launch into the first number, which is if I could get to the moon or back. Now, I wonder where he might be. Is he, uh, is he, oh, I think he's, he's going to be in the, he's going to be in the front room. But why, why has he got the curtains closed? Hmm. We shall see. Right, let's head over to the front room and for Graham Graham Beck and if I could get to the moon and back. This way, come on, follow me, this way, this way. To be but by a sea I'm 
get to the moon and back. Okay then, uh, here we go. This is the, uh, the magic trick. We take one box. Yeah, one box. No, just to prove it's a box. All solid, good and solid. One rather skinny looking doll here. And we're going to place said skinny looking doll with plenty of hair, more than I've got. We're going to place her inside the box. Right, and uh, to prove she's still going to be in there, it's obviously the first spec lid. So we push the uh, first spec lid down. Now don't worry, there are air holes in the top. So uh, she's, she's going to be fine. She's going to be really, really fine. Okay. Right, so I'm now going to um, do the magic bit. This is the magic bit. Um, I couldn't find the, uh, the glittery cloth that I would normally use for this. So instead of them, I have to pinch a, a tea towel out of the uh, kitchen. Uh, it's a nice tea towel, but it's, uh, it's got digestive biscuits on, and it's got my favourite chocolate digestives. Very, very nice. Uh, I suppose you all know the uh, the origin of digestive biscuits, don't you? Um, well, well, it's not my place to tell you here, but you know, look it up and you'll find out. Right. Right, I'm now going to place the uh, log on the box. Just, no? Think she's gone? Do you think she's gone? No, no. Still there, still there. Okay. Right, now I'm going to issue some magic words. When I can think of some. Oh, I know. Alakazam, Alakazim, what will hack to the box within? <laughs> now, the magic bit. As you can see, things are still as they were. Right, we're now going to reveal. Oh, let's have a drum roll. <laughs> It's, well, she's magically changed into a packet of big rolls. Well, doesn't that just about take the biscuits? I think I'll take them and I'll have them make you a big cup of tea. Um, yes, I, as, I mean, there is uh, nothing, uh, nothing up my sleeve. I was saying there's nothing up my sleeve, but what's this? Okay, I suppose uh, it's it's time we move on to the uh, the next number, and uh, it's going going back again. And uh, where is he this time? Oh, I think he might be in here. I think he might be in here somewhere. I can't see him, but uh, anyway, I'll introduce him, and I'm sure he will probably just once again magically appear. Okay, so he's going to be playing one of Kylie Minogue's songs. I don't know why, because she never plays any of his. But anyway, Kylie Minogue's. Can't get you out of my head. Take it away, Graham, Graham, Beck.
just can't get you out of my head Girl, your love is all I think about I just can't get you out of my head Girl, it's more than I dare think about La 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 just can't get you out of my head Girl, your love is all I think about I just can't get you out of my head Girl, it's more than I dare think about Every night, every day To be there in your arms Would you stay? Would you Girl, it's more than I dare think about Every night, every day to be there in your arms Would you stay? Would you lay? Pray forever I just can't get you out of my head. I just can't get you out of my head. I just can't get you out of my head. I just can't get you out of my head. I just can't get you out. Can't get you out. I just can't get you out of my head. I just can't get you out. I just can't get you out. I just can't get you out of my head. I just can't get you out. 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 I just can't. Just can't get you out of my head, girl. Your love is all I think about. I just can't get you out of my head, girl. It's more than I dare think about. La 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 Right, well, that was Graham, Graham Beck again, and well, it has to be him, is not it? It's his, it's his show. It was Carly Minogue's I Can't can't Get You Out of My Head. Um, absolutely wonderful, absolutely wonderful. A classic, a classic. Completely ruined. Completely ruined. Oh, well, we, we swiftly move on again to the interval. Now, the interval is uh, that break between the first part and the second part. And it joins it up together quite nicely, I think, really. Because the interval this time, is going to be a bit more to it. Um, I'm introducing a, uh, a little section that's called Cutting Corners. And it's, it's all about... It's a bit like the potter's wheel, but sort of updated, that sort of thing. So uh, without further ado, again um because i'm making much ado about nothing um as someone said that writer what's his name oh enid blyton so i'll hand you over to the interval 
and cutting corners. Well, wasn't that fantastic? Or as they say in uh, Italy, fantastico. It was mesmerising. It was it was just something else. It really was. Um, I think I'll stand back a bit because I'm probably frightening a few people. I'll move back. Back, back, way back. Back into time. Right. What have we now? Well, we have another song from Grand Grand Beck. Uh, I, of course, did I introduce myself at the beginning? I am, of course, Graham Beck, the compare for the show. I probably didn't do that. It's very rude of me, but there we are. That's me. Well, no, I'm not rude. It's just uh, that's me. I'm forgetful is what I mean. I'm, I can be forgetful. The next song is uh, a song that Graham Graham Beck wrote uh, due to his experiences when he used to work in the stockroom of a certain departmental store known as Marks and Spencer's, which is still going, but it's now only Marks and Spencer Food. And he used to work in the stockroom. And when he worked there, which was in his, I do believe, uh, he said that he used to work um, in the summer holidays when he was an art student. And he used to work with um, uh, another sort of student who used to come in, and his name was Varian Tai. Now, Varian Tai was an interesting bloke. I, I liked him a lot. He, he really used to... He, used to bring albums in and, uh, you know, I used to sort of borrow some of them. Uh, Atomic Rooster used to bring in. He also used to bring in Jethro Tull, Jethro Tull albums and things like that. I used to sit at home and listen to them. Oh, wow, this is great. I really like this. And I did. I thought, oh, really, really good. He was also a bit of a character, unlike me, because I was very, very quiet. Uh, you might not believe it now, but I was very, very quiet, subdued in the corner of the way. I just let everybody else do what they did, and I just stood back. But um, he used to, um, he was known in the store by the rest of the staff, sometimes as the monk, or the mysterious monk, because he, uh, at dinner times, uh, when he used to have his break, he used to uh, put on this cloak with a hood, and he used to come down from the, uh, the first floor, down to the ground floor, on the stairs, and it looked as though he was sort of floating down the stairs, like this, and people used to say, there's that hooded monk again and things like that. And, you know, he wasn't sinister, but, you know, he could have been. Um, so Graham Graham Beck wrote a, a song about him because after that he just disappeared. He, he went down to, to Bath University and uh, I haven't heard of him since, nor has Graham Graham Beck. Both of us, we haven't heard from Barry and Ty since. So if Barry and Ty, if you are out there somewhere in uh, the internet land, then... Um, by all means, get in touch because I'd like to hear from you. 
because this song was written especially about you and for you in a lot of ways. But uh, for today, it's for all of you out there. This is called Whatever Happened to Varian Ty. It's a bit spooky, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Oh, whatever happened to Varian Ty? We don't know. Well, it's coming up to the final song of the set. Uh, now, for this one, and Graham Graham Beck says this promises to be a spectacle. So uh, I've, I've come prepared. I've come prepared. So for this one, it's um, in the middle of this, there's going to be special effects going on oh yes yeah, special effects lovely lovely and it's a song all about one of his favorite characters and one of my favorite characters on screen the monster godzilla yes it's um it's a uh, the song has been updated a little bit and it's it's much more rocky you know yeah yeah dang grang 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 
No, that sounded like grain, 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 grain. Uh, Kerrang, I meant Kerrang, Kerrang, Kerrang. Drums and stuff. So sit back in your seats, brace yourself for this, and the special effects and the spectacle in the middle. So this is Grain, Grain Beck and Godzilla, King of the Monsters. I'm off.
two, Godzilla! Yay! Go on, all cheers together. Wasn't that spectacular? This idea was. Whew. Right, okay, we've got to the end of the programme. Uh, you're probably thinking to yourselves, thank goodness for that. And yeah, yes, you're right, because I make these things up as I go along. Not that you could tell, it sounds like um, it's properly scripted, you know, and uh, any faults and any mistakes are part of that script. Well, you're right. You're very right. Oh, before we go, um, Graham Graham Beck has just brought out um, the first of four new albums for this year. Yes, you know, he's got his foot on the accelerator. I was going to say on the brakes, but he hasn't. Well, he actually has. He's got his foot on the accelerator and also his foot on the brake. Not at quite the same time. He's trying to, he's sort of lurching forward and, and back and forth uh, because he's, he's got four albums and he, he's, he's busy. He's a busy, 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 busy Graham Graham Beck. Uh, it's now available to buy. You can buy it on Bandcamp. The album is From Frontal Lobes to the Back of Beyond. Graham Graham Beck. And these are tracks from 2005 to 2009, uh, which have never been released. And they're experimental, ambient, jazzy, relaxing, not quite as relaxing, energetic, electronic, acoustic. It's, it's all sorts. So, so there we are. So £8, 
for the CD. I only have eight copies of these left. If you do actually or would like one of these, then um, please uh, message me and or Graham Graham Beck, of course, and um, we'll do our best to accommodate you. It can be sent in the post. Uh, otherwise, download is available on Bandcamp. Five five pounds. There we are. I see you. Counted right again. Five pounds for the digital app download. So there we are. Right, so all that remains for me to say now is I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. It's been good. And um, that's about it. So until next time, which will be at the end of March. OK, I'll not waffle anymore. I'll just say thanks very much for listening. And uh, I'll hand you over to who else but Alfonso and his dining room happening to play us out at the end. So as I always say, over to you, Alfonso. it's all finished you know if you're watching it live you've missed the end well, no you haven't you've, you've got the end you missed the beginning is what i mean and the middle and sort of towards the end but not quite the end because this is still the end because you're still there i'm sorry well you'll be able to watch it very shortly